Hi everyone, thank you for joining. So today I'm gonna be unboxing some Razer products. So last time I did an unboxing of Razer products, I had a couple of Razer products that were uh, cord, uh, so they were wired. They had to be uh, USB, um, you know, you, you had to plug it in. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to try to talk like me, right? So um, today I got some wireless ver uh, products of Razer. So we have here, it's the, uh, well, I'll start with the really big one here. So this is the, try to work on that lighting, sorry. Uh Ah, okay. So this is the uh, Nari Ultimate. And I'm sorry, guys, about the lighting right now. Um, so I have no idea what's going on here. But um, yeah, so this is the, there we go. This is the Nari Ultimate uh, headset. And so I'll be unboxing this. And this video is just for the unboxing uh, it's a little harder for me to try to do those, like test out and play ones. Uh, but you can watch me as I'm like playing, but I, I don't, I don't have more than my iPhone camera right now that I can use at the same time. And it's really hard for me <laughs> to have time to edit. I have, uh, two toddlers and a mother that I take care of. Um, so my life gets pretty busy quickly. So a lot of my videos are live. So, and thank you for joining me. I see you guys. Thank you so much. So, uh, the Nari Ultimate is the wireless gaming headset with haptic technology. So, this is Razer. This is Razer, I really like their brands and the fact that I love their whole thing that they are uh, gamers that are making gaming products. So, I, I really love that a lot. Um, they're really cool about their. R RGB as well the the lighting so there's different lightings that take effect and so forth so this is um one of my side jobs that I'm doing uh and it's called Charities 411 World if you're new so I just wanted to show you uh this is the uh one for tech so I uh do some unboxing other times I'm doing tutorials so uh, this is the, uh, so if you're new, I want to welcome you. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a little nervous. Thank you for everybody's support. So this is the Basilisk Ultimate Wireless Mouse by Razer. This is the gaming mouse with the charging dock. So this has a charging dock already with it. So this is like how the, the back of it looks here so i'm just gonna switch the camera down a little bit so you guys can uh see this a little better so so it's small wording but i'm hoping it's a little big you know it's bigger wording for you guys and then the other one i'll be unboxing save the best for last year so i've uh, always been a fan of how keyboards sound. I don't know if that's weird, but I am autistic. So there are things that seem to stand out to me when I'm using them and things that I like and don't like that may be a little different. So like I remember smelling the boxes of board games. It's really weird. So anybody else out there just know that uh, I do it too. Uh, so this is the Black Widow Mini hyperspeed uh, wireless keyboard. So I'll be unboxing this as well. Um, all these have a Bluetooth mechanism and I'm gonna try it out to see if I can get it also connected wirelessly to my iPad. So when I'm doing the Xbox cloud gaming on it, um, I can use that as well. Um, if I decide to try to do something that requires me to use a keyboard. Right now, I've just been using my 
controller. Okay, so we're going to start here with the headset. So this is the, like I mentioned, the Nari Ultimate headset. So we're just going to open this up and then I'm just going to walk you briefly through what it says for the, um, I mean, there's not a whole lot of instructions that seem to come with things nowadays, but we're just going to see here about uh, what it will say. the bottom end here. So I'm just going to take this apart. Uh, if you're watching this later, feel free to fast forward. If you're watching it live, I'm sorry. It's going to take me a minute. But thank you. I appreciate you watching. Okay, so I'm just going to fold that in. <laughs> okay, and this does look like that's how you open that, right? So, and flip it over and voila. So this is how it looks. I mean, I really love even how they're, they showcase their products inside the box as well. Super like a uh, nice felt material here. Like it feels like the cushioning kind that you can feel on the inside of your car, you know, on the ceiling part, the roof part of it, <laughs> whatever it's called. So yeah. And then um, there's, so these are the headphones. So these are the ones uh, you can see there, it like turns inward when you're using it, but you can also have it like that, which is super cool for, uh, for you know, being able to have this up against something. My other ones, you know, stuck, uh, stood, stood out like this. And so it would, I would run into them. So I'm really happy to have something like this that, it's just nice and flat until I get better things to put my products on. Be able to get some of those gaming stands. And right here is the cord. So this is the cord for it. And this is uh, what you use to charge it. And we'll go into more of that after. If I lift this up, I found here also this in case I would think, you know, if I need that, the, it is, looks like a headphone jack cord and then the, uh, the booklet for it. So this will have the instructions, warranty and all of that. I'll let you guys read that on your own. If you decide to buy one, I did provide the links down in the description part of this video. So that way you can easily find them on Amazon. I'm an Amazon affiliate. I'm in their program. So I'm able to get like special deals here and there. So I shared these products on Amazon and some they, they are customizable with their buttons. So in like, you know how normally headset, you know, you have the, the power on and off button I know on the L, the LG version headset that I had, that one um, you can actually uh, make the uh, the mute button do something different, like being able to have it start up your stream for you. You know, so just by that one click, you know, so you go into these programs to set that. So for these headphones, I, I don't know a lot yet with it, but we're going to go over that right now. I don't know if how many extra buttons this one will have. I just know the other one, I didn't like that it was only just that one button because there's a lot of times where my hands aren't free. I just want to quickly press a button and be able to get to other places than having to stop everything and use my mouse and everything else. So that's where these extra buttons will come in handy. And it says it has an auto adjust. So, uh, and it has cooling gel infused ear cushions. Like these are super comfortable. Even uh, the LG ones I had too were really comfortable. Uh, I've been watching some different reviews on this headset here. It's really good for Xbox, especially. 
uh, Razor Chrome Lightning Mic Mute Indicator, which is nice because a lot of times I had to guess with my LG one if I was muted or not. So uh, it's all the hiccups of a uh, beginner streamer, right? So that's where I'm at. A retractable mic. It, there's a trans uh, transceiver storage. There's a USB wireless transceiver. Volume control, of course. The charging port. The power button. Status indicator. So game chat balance. That's super cool. I didn't have that before. Mic mute button. Charging cable. So yeah, it's really, really cool. So these are the added features if you guys can see that so you guys can pause and read that later on and then there's the other page here goes a little more in depth on the certain buttons and what they do and if you see here what fell out is the stickers I love these stickers so much and they have that like clear background so they're like decals so these are going on my van so um Anyway, back to this. So we have here, it's the uh, the status indicator lights, like what it was talking about on the previous page, okay? And then you have the, uh, let's see, the sound indicators, they'll, they, it actually, you know, it gives you that image of what to look for. So that's really helpful. And then it shows you about the USB receiver. So it, I mean, it does show a laptop and it shows a desktop. So I'm um, not sure yet with the wireless part, if that means it's gonna be read through that signal of a USB, which means if I wanna use it on my iPad, I'll have to uh, have that uh, HDMI multi-port adapter that I did my first unboxing video with you guys on. And that one will allow me to plug in my my headphones that way, but it only has one USB port, so it won't be helpful for me to use my keyboard and mouse as well if I have to do it through the USB wireless mode, right? Um, and I do understand because they want to make sure but bluetooth is going to allow me it should allow me to do it without that usb so and i'll have to get back to you guys on that and let you know through one of my gaming videos so i'll be um, using these of course to play my next game that i'll be doing and i'll do a video on it and you guys can see that way how it's going and i'll make sure i, I let you guys know how I'm connecting to it. So this is, uh, so you wanna keep a lookout for that. These are just going over the uh, connecting to other devices via USB port. Um, and then there's the, uh, let's see, there should be connecting your headset. Uh, there should be the one for, yeah, these have really good instructions to them. I do like that. I uh, didn't have a Razer headset before, so I wasn't able to know about how they do their instructions for it. So they have a lot of good instructions. I was kind of lost with the Logitech one. Sorry, um, not LG, Logitech. I kept saying LG. Okay, um, there's the how to use the game balance, all the different features that I read. They have the, looks like they have those instructions here step-by-step, step, which is really helpful to be able to know and get the most out of your headset. So I don't want to spend a whole lot of time with it. This is going to go over all those extensive details of warranty and stuff. Um, let's see. Looks like we go back here to the beginning. Uh, package contents, of course, is the gaming headset, USB wireless transceiver. Now, on the, on the box here, I thought this one said it had um, Bluetooth. And that's how you can connect wirelessly, usually to products like uh, tablets and phones when you want to use accessories. So, 
Yeah, I didn't notice that. So this one, this one's not, not showing that it's Bluetooth. So there's, uh, you know, of course, I really do love Razer itself, but I'll, I'll probably use my spare um, headset that I have that is a Bluetooth one. I don't remember the name of it. It's just a generic wireless headset. So, but yeah, this is the one for that. I mean, like, look how cushioning these are. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to put them on my ears. And then, yeah, these are like super cool. I mean, it'll show you all the lightings. Here's those buttons there. So I'm really excited to show you guys everything once I get to know my products here. So, yeah. Thank you, Razer. You guys are awesome. And then the next one that we'll do, just a moment. Go ahead and put this back for now until I get ready to connect it later. Okay, so we're going to open up, I'm going to open up the mouse next. <laughs> and so I'm really excited to see how that, how that's going to be. Um, let me try to get some more of that lighting for you guys. So I think here, yeah, I'm going to have to, I think, yeah, I can do that. Turn it on. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? So you guys have more lighting now, right? That's always nice. Okay. So here we have the, here we have the mouse and that's the back of it because there's a lot of features there. I'm not going to be able to show you necessarily today. But I, uh, because, you know, I'm just doing the unboxing. So this one here is probably going to open similar. So, yep, there's the tape. And uh, you guys can pause at different parts of the video after where you can be able to read all the the details on here, I have to be real considerate of my, my time. Okay, here we go. And then this in here, so that looks like this, see? And they have that nice cushioning material again to protect their products. But like, I'm wanting to take that out and use it on something. Uh, Keep it nice and cushiony, 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 if that's a word. Okay, uh, so here it has all those nice parts there that help keep it, you know, nice and smooth. And uh, what's really good to have too, and I don't have it yet, is one of those uh, desk uh, pads. So. Uh, because, they, you know, there's scratches and things that happen on the desk and your mouse can get caught. And I use the laser ones. I like the laser light ones, not the ones with the ball. So those ones, uh, they don't last that long, especially if you're doing like gaming or using your mouse a lot. You know, it can wear out real quick. So I like these kind now that have that laser part. These are all going to be lighting up. I'll show you guys what it looks like in a picture. I'll post that. But in the some of the videos I'll be doing in the near future, you guys will see all the lighting. But these are the strips where the lighting will come from. How to control the lighting is through that same program that I mentioned, the Razer Synapse 3. You download and install that on your uh, desktop computer because that's where it's going to work. Um, 
it, it do, they don't have a mobile app as far as I understand for doing all that. And you'll uh, go in there and customize and you'll be able to like pick to be able to have your lighting. If this is one of those, be able to have your lighting be controlled by sound that uh, is heard or, you know, have one solid light or have all, all the RGB different lights going, you know, red, green, blue, right? Um, but you'll have those mixed ones too, you know, uh, it'll look really cool. And you just get to customize it to whatever color you like. I mean, that's not why I get these, but it's definitely an added plus to, you know, the way everything looks. But for me, I'm just, you know, doing these little side mama jobs. So I like being able to do these unboxings and testing out products. So here is the uh, stand here. So this is where you'll be charging it. This is the charging dock that it talked about. And you see there, it's kind of similar to what you'll see on like Logitech keyboards for tablets and like the Apple Magic keyboards. They'll have that kind of magnetic thing to them. And so this one, you know, you just you could do it that way. I don't know. Some people might do it a different way, but I find, oh, so it looks like they go in. Um, so you can actually, you know, be able to do it that way, but I, I don't know. I find that just doing that is fine. Um, and then, you know, that's how you're going to end up charging it. Now this one is going to, looks like, uh, yeah, it has a, looks like a USB port inside that you'll be using to keep that from dying right because you want to be able to charge it and that will be nice you won't have that you know the wire the wired like with the wired mouse you know you have the cord in the way most of the time unless you have those nice you know kind of desk setups but uh in my case i'm a beginner so i don't have a whole lot to work with right now here is the overall gist of the mouse button so this one has of course the left and right it has the scroll wheel this one also you can uh, tap down so tap down on the scroll wheel and you actually that's an added button for you when you press this down if it's like my other razor one when you press this down sorry this one it there's like one of them is a lock. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to find. I think it's this one is a lock. So when you scroll, you know how normally when you're scrolling through uh, like a website and it seems like you're just like scrolling forever. Well, you do this like once and it just like keeps spinning. So I'm trying to get it to do it for you. Let's see if I can get it to do it right now, but yeah. They'll probably mention it in here because I haven't used this yet. Okay. And there's the, the DPI stage up, DPI stage down. Those are those technical terms there for, you know, just the added features that it has. I, I don't want to go in depth about that right now. Multi-function paddle, the mouse button five, and then there's a mouse button four, and it's talking about, um, on the side here. So you know how normally you'll be holding the mouse like this or left-handed, you know, want to speak to all my left-handed people out there. But uh, this is the one where, you know, you'll have those added buttons. Now people that do the gaming and even ones that are like, I don't want to have to keep pressing a lot of keys on my keyboard at these certain Think, you know, like certain times you're using certain apps um, on your desktop or whatever, and you're not wanting to have to go and like look at your keyboard and all that just for like a button or two that you tend to use more than others. You can customize it within that Synapse program I talked about where you can give this a command to do when you press it. So you can command it to like lock your screen real quick. 
so it, you don't have to take that extra time to scroll all the way where you need to to lock your screen you can just press that button no lock your screen um, you can ha pr have this as another button on the back here there's this profile button so that's where you can set different profiles so these buttons you see here actually turn into like a lot because all the different profiles like you have a profile for work you have a profile for when you play games you have a profile set for whatever and so uh, your profile for work these buttons may do something different than uh, the profile for the game that you're playing you know so it's really nice because you know people play different games and use different uh, software and things like that so I mean it's really really nice to be able to have all those kind of things in one and some people they don't have you know two arms so you know all, all they have is one and so I think about that too about the fact that you know if you only have one arm it's going to be difficult to keep going back and forth between your keyboard and mouse so they actually have settings on most map in most of these not just razor brand but where you can customize it to do a lot for you uh with just that or and the keyboard so like i mentioned any of the products that have that customization pro program that you can go into and customize the buttons to do other things besides just the normal things then you'll be able to have it customized exactly to what your needs are and uh like even to the point of like when you're typing up things in word documents things like that you're going to get stickers for each and every product so yeah have some extra stickers maybe i'll uh find uh, i'll do a video soon on like a giveaway and give some razor stickers away and then there's the added part here where it says let's get you covered so you got to so it was just my keyboard i thought this one said it one said it two oh well i looked at some different ones at the same time so i might have got mixed up on what i thought this did but it's yeah, you're going to have to have the USB, I think. Uh, so it's just the keyboard. The Black Widow Mini Hyperspeed is the one that has that Bluetooth logo on the box here. So that's that one I was talking about that um, I believe I'll be able to connect that without any like extra extensions that I need for USB or anything. I could just use my Bluetooth feature on my iPad and be able to connect it that way, which will be really nice. But I was hoping to have a way to do that with my mouse, which I could. It just means uh, I'll have to use that multi-port that I talked about. Uh, I'm sure the instructions mention what this is here. So it might actually be an extra, yeah, we'll, we'll see. So what you get in it is the, let's see, the pro, yeah, I mentioned the profile indicator, the profile button, charging cable and the razor mouse dock, the wireless USB dongle. This is probably wireless USB dongle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to double check that I have everything out of here. Here it is. So this is the USB, and this is the, the, the cord, you know. So this is, an, I think, so then it may, yeah, this is for the charging dock. So that way, you know, you don't have to do anything with the cord other than I don't know if the mouse is gonna connect though um, away from the the dongle part so I'm not sure I'll have to get back to you guys on that there are people out there that I'm sure would be able to let you know or from other YouTube videos 
that go more in depth than what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, showing you guys all the product parts that it comes with. And then this is the, this should be that one part that it mentioned, the, yeah, the multi-function paddle. This is the multi-function paddle. So this is that piece right there. So to understand more of that, you'll go to that part in the book. So let's see. Multi-function paddle. Let's see, multi-function paddle. Um, the wireless dongle. I guess it would be nice if they gave like a page reference too. If you just look into one specific thing. So on the uh, charging station is where you put that wireless dongle at. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, sorry, multifunction paddle. Oh gosh, I went down a rabbit trail. Is that, that looks like it, but I don't know why there's... USB. That's this dongle. Dongle. Yeah, I just call it a USB part of the cord. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, moving on, there's this right here. Yep, there it is. Multi function paddle. So, it shows you like where you can put that. So your Razer Baslick has a multi-function paddle, which by default allows you to temporarily change the mouse's sensitivity when held down. To customize the multi-function paddle to perform different tests, you'll need to install Razer Synapse 3. Like I mentioned, that's that program where you can customize everything. So now we're going to um, move on the rest of this is uh, in other languages and for other things um, to get more details uh, of everything like I mentioned you may want to watch some other videos until I get around to using this for a little while and then doing a tutorial on it so I'll put this one back for now and then we'll unbox the keyboard next so I'll do that. Okay. Yep. Okay, so this is the Black Widow V3 Mini Hyperspeed. So this is the one that has the 65% wireless mechanical gaming keyboard. So it has the razor green switches, tactile and clicky, and then the touches razor verte uh, if i pronounce that correctly this is the one that i mentioned that has the bluetooth uh, logo there so you know that it's going to have a bluetooth capability that should allow you to be able to use it like other bluetooth devices and have it connect to your phone or your tablet so i look forward to testing that out and seeing if that is going to work well. Um, so here is up to 200 hours of battery life. And the Razer mechanical switches, like I mentioned, the hyperspeed wireless technology really is just, you know, giving it a better connectivity when you're playing games. You don't want your connectivity being lost while you're trying to defeat a bad guy or something. So it's good to look for ones that have that hyperspeed capability. Okay, here we go. This, this part of the unboxing is easier than the others. It has to be, right? Because it's the Black Widow keyboard. Okay, so my last keyboard from Razer was the cord version, the wired version of this. I love it. And so this is the wireless version here. Okay, so, and it's smaller because it doesn't have the 
the numeric keypad with it, but they have uh, ones that you can buy that have that as a separate thing if you really want that. And it's really cool. They have really good ones for like the wrist and everything to be able to rest on. It's really awesome. You can find that too on Amazon and their website, of course. And um, they have that cool little pocket where you can um, have all, you know, where your instructions come, uh, I mean, are stored when you get the box. So, and then this is it's even really nice bag, right? So this will have the charging cord, I assume. And so this is the part that you'll plug into your keyboard, USB, it looks like a USB-C, and then this is the USB part, and that one will be plugged in to the back of your computer or wherever you're plugging in your USB ports that um, are going to be charging. Uh, so for me to have less things everywhere, I uh, usually like just plugging it in to my computer part. Okay, when, so, but in this case, you know, for the charging, you don't have to. And so here's some more stickers. And let's see here. This is the thank you for choosing Razor. All the products have this, but I just uh, didn't take time to read it. But it says the dedication we put into engineering high performance gaming gear extends into after sales service. Our customer support team is always available to answer any questions or assist you with any trouble. So protect your gear razor today. And so it gives you that link to go to, uh, to do that. It says a good keyboard is crucial in harnessing the competitive edge. It's what drove us to create the world's first mechanical gaming keyboard followed by our very own Razer mechanical switches designed for gaming. So whether it's speed or precision, you can find one suited for your needs. So, so it's just that letter from the company. So it's great. I like how they did that too. These instructions, obviously, you can open up differently. Okay. So this one is going to give you some of those understandings of the added parts that you can customize and change out, I think, too. But it, there's the function keys. You know, they have those. There's the uh, sleep mode key. <laughs> there's the uh, gaming mode key. That's really cool that they have those. Yeah. And then there's the... Uh, backlight control keys. Uh, so that's these ones here. Let me go ahead and open this. I haven't done that yet. So the lighting and everything takes effect once you plug it in and install that software. So for now, it's just going to be black, just like the other ones are. And so for this here, it has those lifted keys, which are really nice for me because I slip way too much pressing the wrong buttons when it comes to the uh, those flat keys that are seem to be quite prevalent nowadays. So uh, there, so these you know function keys. So they're showing that because actually on top you see one, two, three, four. But on the side here, you'll see F1, F2, F3, you know, so it definitely saved some space. They have the M1. So those are those macros that they mentioned. So these keys have one or two other things that they do depending on which button you press first before you press it. Or you know how you hold down shift and then whatever, like shift C to go capitalize. So you'll be doing that for the... So you'll press the FN, you know, so this is not a computer tutorial video, so I'm not going to say too much about that, but 
just to give you an idea if you're new to that. So gaming mode key, so that's letter D. So it's on the, um, sorry, D reference, letter D reference. That's, let's see, that's, where are you? Gaming mode, yeah, there. So it has a, a G with a circle around it. So there's a button you'll press and then press that. And then uh, that'll switch you to the gaming mode because you're uh, with the gaming mode, your regular keys may very well be very different when it comes to certain games. Like when you press A, it won't be A that pops up. And so you'll want to switch back of course, when you're just, you know, doing typing and regular office stuff. So I like that they have those different kind of profiles that you can put in. And so they have media, I think, uh, when you have everything turned on, but I'll know for sure, know for sure once I do that. And then uh, this doesn't have to sit flat. It has parts here that you can lift up to where you have it like that. There's that port there where you'll put that USB-C part of the cord in. You can see there how it has the uh, 20, uh, sorry, 2.4 and then it has like uh, the, so this is the Bluetooth, that should be the Bluetooth button. And then there's actually a compartment for where your USB dongle is. Let me get that out. Sorry, that's the dongle. <laughs> I said it was on the cord. Okay, so this is the dongle. This is, uh, it's just, you know, that little portable, you know, USB thing that's not attached to anything of a cord. You know, it's just by itself. So they're called, they call that a dongle. Uh, not Razor, but everybody. It's just, I just, was getting distracted trying to focus on all the other stuff okay and eventually i'll figure out how to put that back in okay there we go and yeah so that's gonna be a lot of fun trying to take some time going through all the settings there there's the k mode switch uh sorry the K reference mode. So that one is the mode switch for 2.4 off and BT Bluetooth. So yeah, that's our button there that we found earlier. Okay. And then there's going to be the, okay. Yeah. So when you want to use the USB dongle, and not Bluetooth, you're gonna press that button over. So you're gonna push that over and you can push it over. Oh wow, it's already lighting up. So there must already be a charge to it because my keys just started going different colors. Isn't that cool? Okay, yeah, I know. And now I have the light on brighter. So it's gonna make it a little harder to see. <laughs> ah, can't have my cake and eat it too. Okay, so that's when it's on Bluetooth mode. Obviously, I think it's trying to connect to my computer right now. Uh, and then, so this is where the USB, see, and then that light came on. So, but I don't have that dongle plugged in yet. But yeah, see, it's already trying to understand. In the middle is that off button, and that's why at first it was all black. <laughs> okay, so anyway, it definitely lets you know when you're switching back and forth. Okay. Uh, the detachable type A to type C cable, like I mentioned. So, and that is the uh, getting started. It says you're going to connect your keyboard to a powered USB port using the type A to type C cable to charge your keyboard. While charging, the power indicator will be in solid red and then turn solid green when fully charged. I didn't mention this with the others because you don't really have to worry about that when you're having to plug 
in the USB part. But yeah, yeah I guess you are going to have to still charge. I would still charge everything. I'm so used to thinking about my wired stuff. Okay, so yeah, I would definitely suggest charging everything before you use it. And then the set mode switch to Bluetooth, BT. Uh, your Razer Black Widow V3 Mini Hyperspeed can pair up to three devices using its Bluetooth profiles. That's super cool. To activate pairing mode, you're going to hold down the FN. Like I was mentioning, that FN key is very important. You're going to hold that down and the Alt button. So, yeah, hold this down in the Alt button at the same time. And then hold down either the one, two, or three. That's up here, of course. I don't know if you guys can see all that. But, um... You'll press one if you like. So wh whatever you have one set to uh, for your devices. So what uh, if you have, for example, if you have your computer set to one, then that's the one you want to press when you want your keyboard to be used uh, on your computer. And two, like if I have my iPad uh, dedicated to that number two, button, then I'll want to press that FN all in two, and then my keyboard will know that I want to type on my, I want to use this on my iPad at that time. And then the number three, same thing, whatever device you decided to put for number three key. And then enable Bluetooth on your other, you know, on your device that you're trying to connect your keyboard to. And the mini hyperspeed from the list of devices will be found. The device will pair with your keyboard and the connection will be registered to that number. So that's what's really cool because in the near future, I'm probably still going to get a, a different, I mean, I haven't done enough research to know. I think they would have some kind of Bluetooth headset and Bluetooth capable mouse but I don't know for sure. I just know I would really like that because um, my trackpad uh, that I already have for my iPad, it, it messes up all the time. I don't like those trackpads. I like having a mouse, but I'll probably just get like a generic mouse in the meantime. Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, iP iPads, tablets, you know, they're, they're meant to be portable where you don't have to, you know, have a keyboard with it. But there's work I do that uh, that requires me to have a keyboard, like the 3D modeling and things like that. So I'm going to want to have that. And there are times where I'm not going to be able to be in the room. I have to be out there and have to help my mom or the kids and things like that. So I'm not always going to be able to do everything at the computer. So here, the enable Bluetooth part, like I mentioned, and then you're going to It's just super cool, like it was already trying to go there. See? So the lights are coming from those underneath parts. <laughs> And I don't know yet because I haven't read through all the instructions about like if this is that kind of keyboard. I've seen some videos of keyboards where you can take out certain keys and, and put in your own customized ones or ones that you buy from Etsy or whatever. And uh, I know there are people that like being able to like just at a glance know exactly where the arrow keys are. For me, especially because I'm struggling with my eyesight right now, is being able to tell this apart. If I can't do that with the the lighting, just going uh, to a different color just for these. Um, that's where I found, like, there are some other keyboards out there that are good for that. Uh, they have ones that already have certain colored buttons that are different from the, the main buttons. So you can easily tell apart things like that. So I will uh, keep you guys updated, and like I mentioned, uh, with more videos that I'll be doing, you'll see how everything's going to be working. So and I'll try to do my best to go through that 
Thank you so much for you guys joining and take care.